I usually find that most entrepreneurs don't ever really stop unless someone forces them to stop. Uh, there's always something new to be tried. There's always some idea uh, that we can layer on. And what usually forces them to stop is either their spouse says, if you spend one more minute on this, I am out of here. Um, or uh, the funding dries up. Or the, the co-founder goes, I've got to go get a real job. In other words, it's some external force rather than saying I'm out of ideas. Um, but right. what right. does happen, um, and I have seen this happen, is you lose the passion for it because you start getting burned out um, on having gone. It's this is going to this is going to go past anybody who's younger than thirty five. It's like Lucy and holding the football uh, for Charlie Brown. You know, he, <laughs> he's run up to it and right. she pulls it away every single time. But each time he goes, no, I'm not going to do that. She goes, no, I promise this time I won't pull the ball away. And it's only so many right. times you can go yeah. running up to that football before you go, uh, I don't think I have it in me anymore. The reality is some, sometimes these things happen that have nothing to do with you. Um, and we, if we had another hour and a half, we could, we could go through the more detailed discussion and I could help tell them whether this, in fact, no, this did have something to do with you. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Listen, sometimes things break your way and sometimes they don't, you know?